Good evening. I've got a visitor. The only visitor that I've ever wanted to come to Lanzarote. Me good old mate from school. And I tell you what, we haven't seen each other for quite a long time. And I said, come on, we better have a bit of a lads night. We're on a night out. Don't worry, it is Mr. Traveline. You know it's only a posh water, but we're going for a curry. Can't wait. He's Very hungry. He's starving. I don't know what we're going to have. I reckon I'm going to go for something spicy. He said he's going mixed for grill. a mixed grill. I don't know what that's all about. But anyway, we're going to Namaste in Playa Blanca. You ready? I'm ready to go. Right, let's go. Right then, this menu is massive. I've showed it you before, but it's, it's huge. Look how many pages it is. I think it's all the different languages, but he wants a starter. I'll tell you what. And he's going for a chicken tikka chat. No, is that what you're going for? A chicken yeah. tikka chat, okay. Now I've tried a prawn puree before, and that was nice. Um, so maybe I'll go for a prawn puree. And then you're going for a mixed grill, no? Mixed grill. Right, where is that on here? I haven't found it yet, so I'm hoping they, they actually do one. Well, we've got tandoori dishes. Yeah, tandoori mixed grill, ah. it's on page two. And yeah. it's a combination of chicken tikka, lamb tikka, shish kebab, tandoori chicken, chicken harabara. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and chicken malia tikka and king prawns. I'm in. And are you going to eat That's, that to yourself? Absolutely. 100% meat fest. Right, okay. That's right, perfect. come on, I'm getting lost here because Mrs. Travelon <laughs> usually orders everything. Yep. You know in the videos, I always say, I leave Mrs. Travelon to order things, but now I've got to order my own stuff. I don't know what to have. What shall I have? You can go for the chat, probably it's really good. As a or starter? You would give up, yes, why not? I love whatever you say. What? 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 Bollywood kebab. Bollywood so. kebab is also a good. Give one. me a Bollywood kebab. How spicy would you like to have? Spicy. Like hot spicy, extra hot spicy. Oh, just normal spicy. I don't want to. I don't want my head to be blown off because I'll say hot is fine. Right. So we're having a Bollywood kebab. Yes. That sounds good. And then what shall I have for main? You decide. Punjabi. Oh no, I don't fancy a Punjabi fish curry. That's completely but not different. Not with the fish, but you can go for with the chicken as well. Punjabi sauce, I mean. That's really good. Really? Spicy. Hot spicy? Yeah, hot spicy, not extra hot. Don't worry. You're having rice, or? And but are you sure about fish? You don't want to change it with prawns, with chicken, with If anything? that's how it's meant to be, I will have it like that. If you say it's good, I will eat it. And I'll enjoy it, because I'll eat anything. Good reviews about that. OK, we'll go with it exactly how it's meant to be. And with, with pillow rice? Can have a mushroom pillow rice. Of course we can. And, uh, and uh, did you order an arm bread? I ordered my my keema arm for myself. Oh really? Do you want one? <laughs> I better have an arm bread as well. I'm not sharing. Garlic, I'm not sharing. I'll have a keema as well. Keema as well. Yeah, and that's it. Did you order papa doms? No. No. But can we have some papa doms to start? Each to each. To each. Two yeah. Each, yeah, with some dips, please. You've got to have some papa doms. They always comes with dips. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, thank you very much. What's your name? Aisha. Aisha, thank you very much. Come and see Aisha, she's going to sort you out thank with you. a fish curry. <laughs> God help us. Okay, guys. Right, here we go. Thank Papa Doms you. have arrived. Papa Doms have arrived. Great. <laughs> thank you so much. Brilliant, thanks. Yeah. Thank right, you. let's get in. Thank you very much, my man. Right then, so we're going to dig in to these Papa Doms. I'm not a dipper. I'm, I'm a... What are you doing? You... No, no, I'm not a dipper. Ah, what's, the, what's this? That is a sort of spreader. That's a spreader. I'm a spreader then. So you pick it up and like yeah. put it onto the Papa Dom. Absolutely. There you go. So he picks it up, puts it onto the Papa Dom like this. Doesn't put it on his plate, just goes straight onto the, uh, <laughs> onto the Papa Dom, what do you reckon? I don't know what you call that, a spreader, I guess. Spreader. Mm. A placer. <laughs> See, I'm a dipper as well. Mm. Mm. That's good. That's spicy, that is. That is spicy. That's mega spicy, isn't it? Thought you weren't a spicy person. Mate, I, I didn't really it was that. <laughs> Which is the spicy, the onion? That, that one. Has blown his head off, look. <laughs> <laughs> spicy onions. Mm. They're mega spicy as well. Mega, mega spicy. Beautiful. Right then, starters have arrived. What we got? Chicken tikka puree. Chicken tikka puree. You're jealous now, aren't you? Because it comes oh. with. It does look very good. And I'll show you mine. Let's have a look. Go on, you dig in. I can see I'm you. Going, I'm going for it. On the Papa Doms. Right then, here you go. Look at that. Beautifully presented. I, I can't even remember what it is. What was it? The. Was it. I can't remember the name of it now. It was a something kebab. Rewind the video and watch. 
Look at that, it's beautiful. Oof. Now I expected a kebab to come in like a, a donna kebab, but it, I think it's just like the meat. Let's have a little try of this. Oh, look at that. Mm. What is this? What is it? Bollywood. Mm. Chicken and lamb Bollywood. Mix. Bollywood. Bollywood kebab. Bolly and what is it? Chicken? Chicken and lamb mix here. Chicken and lamb mix. They are. So it's like on a, it's like an, the meat is cooked on a skewer. The chicken is beautiful. And the lamb, oh, it's melt in the mouth with a bit of coriander as well. Bollywood kebab. And I've had it, <coughs> I've had it hot. Yeah. <laughs> I've had it up. Joyful. <laughs> right then, what's yours like? Absolutely amazing. And I've had quite a few of these. I've tried quite a few chicken tikka puree from different restaurants. This is definitely one of the best. There you go. You look at you look a connoisseur, you. Absolutely beautiful. Really nice. Mm. Well, there you go. He's a foodie, so uh, he's not like me who will just eat anything. In fact, I don't know why you like listen to me because I will literally eat anything and say anything tastes good. But it must be good if he likes it. Bollywood kebab. I'm gonna start dancing in a minute. <laughs> oh, here we go, look. Wow, look at that, he needs two hands. Oh, oh my good God. Look at that. Thank you. Oh. Amazing. Now you see, I wish I'd have had that now. Oh, wow. wow, mine looks a bit... Thank you. Wow. Look at that. That looks delicious. That's yeah, mine. There. And onion rice. Oh, oh thank, thank you, so mate. Much. That is beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your <laughs> thank Cheers, you. mate. My gosh, what have you had? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Right, that's yours that's... looks a lot more colourful than mine. Yeah. Mine looks... Mine's very unique and off the wall, but yours looks proper colourful. Let that, me show you. That is a meat fest. I mean, if anyone has a tandoori oh. mixed grill back in back at home in the UK, you can look at that and it's, you can see that's that is a beautiful. Good and so you've had it with a masala sauce, masala sauce, and, then, and some rice and a naan bread. Right, let's get stuck in. Right then, I love the presentation. Look, I love these little dishes. Look with the rice. These are going straight on the plate. I ain't even messing about. Look, it's going straight on. And let's have a look at this curry. So this was a Punjabi. Was it Punjabi? Punjabi fish. Yep. So it's a Punjabi sauce, but it was a fish curry. That's how it comes. I thought it would be like fish, but it looks like the fish has got a little bit of a batter on it. And again, I ain't messing about. Oh, it's going straight on the plate. And there's a little bit left just to get out of there. That looks delicious. And is yours any good? Well, I haven't got to the meat yet, but the sauce. Are you just on the sauce? Yeah, yeah. The sauce. The rice and the cumin on. Top drawer. There you go. Right then, here we go. Punjabi fish curry. What do you reckon? Would you try this back home? It's not got a batter on the fish. I don't think it has. Oh wow. You know me, I will actually try and eat anything. And this is beautiful. It's white fish. I've had it hot and it's definitely got a kick to it. But the fish is like super, super soft. It's like melt in the mouth. It's sort of, it's sort of like a bit of a codfish, but do you want to try some? All right, fine. Yeah, brave enough. He can't handle the heat. He used to be able to handle the heat back in the day, <laughs> I think. Did we ever go out and eat curries back in the day? But I was mild back then as well. We couldn't eat curries back in the day. We were too busy chasing the ladies back in the day. Right, and so he's just said it's one of the best mixed grills he's ever had. And I had to try a prawn because I do love prawns. Look at that. I'm going to dip it in the sauce. So it's in a masala sauce. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. It's got like a like a charcoal smoky taste to it, yeah, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. You can like taste where it's been grilled. Mm, that is beautiful. Oh, definitely mixed grill. And I tell you what, I would certainly recommend this Punjabi fish. Try it. It's something completely different. And that's what I like. I like to just say to people, like I say, Mrs. Travelon usually orders, and I say just order anything or ask them what do you want. What what do you want me to eat? What shall I? What do you recommend? And this Punjabi fish is a winner for me. I don't know if I'd have it again because when you do crave a curry, you do crave a curry, you know what I mean? Like a chicken tikka masala or something like that, or a chicken or meat. But it's definitely, it's definitely going on my list. Look at that, beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm really, this is really nice. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, really good. But you do know, now I've done a video of this, 
that everybody's going to order this now, so you better go and get yeah. some more fish in. <laughs> what fish was it? Talia? Yeah. Talia. Talpia. So it's called Talpia fish. I'm going to Google it and have a look at the picture. But I'll tell you what, get in here and order some Talpia curry. Beautiful. Thank you, Cheers, thank thank you very much. Thank, thank you, you, my darling. You. Right, for the purposes of the video, now, he is just like me. He won't share food. I just won't share food either. But he said, for the purpose of the video, I'm allowed to have a little bit of the shish kebab, even though I've nicked the prawn. <laughs> wow, off that mixed grill. I'm gonna put a little bit of the sauce on it. That's super nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That is delicious. You sure you don't want to try my fish? <laughs> I'm quite happy with my mixed grill. You crack on. Look at that. Empty plate. There's one downfall to having this, uh, what's it called? Punjabi fish, having this Punjabi fish. And that is, there's not a lot of sauce with it. So now I've got a keema naan to eat with no dipping sauce. Fortunately, I'm gonna nick a bit of his masala sauce, just a spoonful. <laughs> his face, his face. Leave me some. I've left you loads. <laughs> and let's have a little taste of this keema naan. Look at that, that is so soft. The color on that and the keema meat in, inside. A little bit of caramelization on the top and with the masala sauce. So I would definitely order either an extra extra portion of sauce for your, for your, for your naan bread or eat with your naan bread if that's, uh, that's how I should have done it probably. I should have been dipping as I go, but it was so good with the fish that I just like mixed it all together with the sauce and it just, oh, it was gorgeous. What did you just say? I can't eat that, it's beating me. Oh, <laughs> it's beating him. It's that's, beating me. That's my, sure. that's my favorite word that is. Usually it's Alfie, isn't it? Or Mrs. Travelan. Oh, I'm stuffed. Great news. I'll be able to dive into that. You definitely can't eat it. I'll eat it. It's done. All right. You know what I'm going to do? Who am I to turn down leftover food? <laughs> I can't believe it's beaten you. Mind you, it is a big... Deep. I think that's meant to be for two people, you know. I'm sure that is meant to be for two people. And you've just downed it yourself. Because if you think about it, there was two chickens, two prawns, two shish kebabs. I'm thinking that. <laughs> I'm thinking I did, that. I did, I did share with you though. You had, you had one prawn. I don't, I didn't, one, one, chicken, one, one prawn. One piece of chicken. Yeah, I suppose so. Which means that I've actually had a whole portion of that and a full curry as well. As usual, Mr. Travelon's overdone it. Look at this. This is the tandoori chicken. Wow. Good, isn't it? Amazing. Alfie's going to be devastated. This is his favourite Indian restaurant and his favourite dish as well. That is straight off the bone. Super soft, super succulent, lovely colour to it, beautiful smell. Honestly, I couldn't fault this place. And it's brand new as well. I mean, it's been here, what, two months now. We did the first video when it opened, so that was opening night. And um, it was they were running around like a headless chicken. But now service has been really quick, hasn't it? Yeah. Like, right, straight there, boom, down to a tea, they've got it. Lots of people here as well. Right, I've just asked what this one is, and it was the one with the very strange name, Chicken Harabara. Is that right? That's good pronunciation, yeah. Chicken harabara. And the green stuff is mint. So there you go. If you haven't already commented and told me, that is what it is. Chicken harabara. Mm. Haraba good. Mm. I tell you what, I've eaten far too much again. Your fault for leaving don't, it. Don't blame me. There's two, there's two pieces of naan bread left. I can't waste food. I'm blaming my mother for this. We were just discussing this. My mother's fault when she used to say as a kid, eat it all, don't waste it. If I see stuff left, I have to eat it, even though I'm stuffed. So I've left the two naan breads, and I'm taking them home. <laughs> and I'll either eat them, or the boys will eat them, one of the two. But I tell you what, that was absolutely just, again, it was gorgeous. Right then, so this foodie, who I've not even said his name. I've not even told him what your name is. And do you know what? I'm not gonna tell anybody what your name is because my name for you oh, is, well, I can't really repeat can't it, really can, can, it, can I? <laughs> I can't repeat it on camera. So I want the viewers to name you like a little mascot. I like a guess. So they've got to guess. guess what your name is. So answers okay. on a postcard down below. Let me know what the answers are. And uh, mixed grill wise, like I said, you're a bit of a foodie. You eat yeah. out quite a lot. That was good, yeah? Incredible, really nice, really, really presented well. Yeah. Um, really good quality meat, um, really tasty. It was gorgeous, really I mean, nice. I've got to say that was probably the, probably the best 
mixed grill, tandoori mixed grill I've had. There you go. Uh, and I've had quite a few back in uh, back in the UK. So there you go. And yeah. he's got a beard. I mean, you're always just a man with a beard. Just a man with a beard. <laughs> <laughs> and it's pr it's pruned very well as well. It is. So just, there you go. Just for you. You've got to trust a man with a beard. So there you go. Fantastic. <laughs> So it's a little treat for you. What we're going to do, we're going to get the bill and then we're going to head for a little walk into Playa Blanca. So we'll take you with us and just show you what's going on because I don't usually get out at the night time, do I? I'm usually in bed by nine o'clock. You know me, I'm a daytime person, but he's dragged me out. So we'll go for a little walk and take you with us and we'll just show you what's going on in Playa Blanca. That will be a little treat, won't it? But I tell you what, this place is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And the staff are incredible. Right, and this man here, look, He's got an even, he's got an even tidier beard than him, hasn't he? Look at that, <laughs> prone to success. I need to grow a beard, I reckon. It's all these beards around, look, everyone's got a beard. These are the chefs, look. Thank you very much, absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much. And look at the, another great beard as well. What's with all the beards? You've all got fantastic beards. I tell you, it's all about the beards, isn't it? Nice well, you've got a Mr. Travel on haircut. There you go, perfect. And let's say goodbye to the main man himself, Mr. Jimmy. This guy is an absolute legend. He owns this place, the one off of the road. What's the other one called? I keep forgetting. The which one? The, 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 the one in the Papagaya Center. Spice Fusion. Spice Fusion, that's the one. In Faro Park del Trevisano, it's Italian. Del Trevisano, in the, the Faro Park. I know I've been there, I've been there. I've only been drinking and, uh, water. And 14, 15 year old restaurant. Yes, yeah, so what's that one called in Faro Park? Del Trevisano. No, the Indian restaurant. The flavor. There you go. Flavor Indian. There you go, flavor food. Indian. Roma Italia, Salamaste India. And it's maybe coming, coming soon, new project. Maybe coming soon. New, new project. Yeah. But we'll tell you about that. Yeah. Absolutely top. See you next time. Yeah. See you soon. See you. There you go. Right, we're going. Come on. <laughs> Get, we're going to go and cause some trouble. Do, See you later, boys. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you bye, bye, bye. <laughs> right then. So you have got Roma Italia next door. You've got the gelato ice cream place. This place is beautiful as well. This does all your gelato. Do you want an ice cream? No, I'm dirty. It's not even ice cream. It's called, it's called gelato. And uh, you've got a little shopping area here as well, look. Loads of stuff up here, but we're gonna head into town, which is about, from here, well, it's about a five minute walk, just plus Playa Dorada. So let's go. Right, we're both absolutely stuffed, and I think this was a bad idea walking. It was a little bit more than five minutes, and do you know what? I always say this, don't I? You definitely need to bring a hoodie or a cardigan because I'm freezing. It is quite windy. And, he, and he's, his legs are so red as well. Yeah, but don't, the, don't show my legs. The breeze is cooling them down. But we're here outside Biker's Bar, look. This is a very busy. Very busy in Biker's Bar, look. Loads of people there. Bit of live music. And then next door to Biker's, you've got the heart. So I'll show you that. You go, there's Biker's. And the harp as well. Really busy. Look at that. The live music there. You like a bit of live music. You I play do. the guitar, don't do. you? Yeah, he do. plays the guitar. He, he should have been a professional guitarist. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. Fantastic. Right then, so this is the front. This is the front, and we're starting at Jumbo Tipico Canario, and I'll show you how busy it is. It's not actually that busy. What time is it? It's now 10 past 10. 10 past 10, let's have a look. So there we go, like Jumbo's quite busy. Jumbo Asian and Tipico Canario. But it's sort of getting a little bit quieter. Hello, mate, you all right? Do you do the TikTok? I do indeed, how are you? You all right, what's your name? I'm, I'm Lawrence, yeah. Lawrence? Yeah. You're on, you're on, oh, you're on now. South. Say hello, Lawrence, where are you from? Uh, Liverpool. Liverpool? Yeah. You having a good holiday? Yeah, I'm going back. It's uh, Monday. Great stuff, oh, great yeah. stuff. So what's it like for young people out here? There's not much to do, is there, for your age? How yeah. old are you? I'm, I'm 17, but I, I'm with my girlfriend, oh, so we're just... But you had a nice, you've had a nice holiday, yeah, nice. peaceful. Lovely to meet you, mate. You too. See you later. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Oh, there you go. Look, Lawrence from Liverpool saying hello. Look, 17. Do you remember when we were 17? Long time ago. Long time. <laughs> I tell you what, it's a good job we're not 17 anymore because this would be a completely different video, wouldn't it? But there's lots here. Oh, this one's a good one. Vulcan de Tim and Fire. This is a very popular place. Look, 
sort of typical canarium and then there's a bit more shopping areas here somebody's pointing at hello how are you you're all right he was pointing at you then he was like that He's a big fan. Hey, you're a big fan. Lovely to meet you. What's your name? Don't put me on. You're on camera. Look, you've got to be on camera. Look, come here. Don't What's your me. name? What's we'll Gary. Gary, hello. I'm and not he... on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. Don't worry. I'm, 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 I'm new to me. This, so. this is yeah. uh, well. Do you, is, is she the fan? Not you. She I am. Loves, you've, yeah, you've been she a great fan. Been a... Where are you lot from? Come on, say hello. What's your name? Hi, we're from Ireland. From it's Ireland. Common. Which part? Wiscommon. Wiscommon. Okay, which part in Ireland is that? West. West. So it's oh down in there. No, no, over. Over there. South. Yeah. West, east is Dublin. Blimey now. You were in Dublin. I was in Dublin a few days yeah. ago, yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. So, where are you stopping? What hotel? Uh, not with a hotel. villa. A villa? Oh, in bloody hell, posh. Kalanupal, yeah. Brilliant. Well, look, First say hello to everyone. Three years, yeah. And we've had three brilliant years of her. Brilliant. Absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, the breeze. Say hello to everyone. Look, you're actually on YouTube. But maybe, might be on TikTok as well. I don't know. But thank you so much for saying hello and thank you for watching. Lovely to meet you all. Thank See you, you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Right. He just said, should we get a taxi back? Because <laughs> we're absolutely stuffed. You did. Well, all right, I did as well. I agreed to get a taxi back, but, well, let me show you. This is one problem and one negative of Playa Blanca on an evening, and I'm going to show you now. So we're going to walk back, but we're going to walk back the town way because we're parked down by La Salle. Well, we're parked in Marina Rubicon, but I'm going to show you the negative side of Playa Blanca. And they could do with sorting this out. So here you go, look. This is... Uh, this is not good, is it? So this is the queue for the taxis at 10 past 10. There's bloody loads. Now they're not, they do come quite quickly, but they're not great, look. I don't think I'd want to be waiting around for this long for a taxi. You're right. <laughs> there is a, uh, certainly could do with sorting that out. There's a few look though, they're coming, look. Look, so you got one, two, there's three, four, so they're not too bad. They are quite quick. So although that does look a little bit bad, there's been six taxis just while we cross the road. So it moves quickly, but it does sort of put you off when you're sort of like, should we get a taxi? And then you walk up and you're disheartened to see that massive queue and you think, oh my God, we've got to wait ages. I don't know how long the wait is. Let me know in the comments how long you usually wait for taxis there, because I don't get taxis, do I? But it has given us the opportunity to walk through town a little bit, so I'll show you some of the bars and restaurants through town, which may save yourself a little bit of money, because sometimes they're a bit cheaper. Right then, so this is Tipico Espanol. This is a very popular place. They do menu of the day, look. Nine euros 50 for a three courser, so that's good. And then there's a couple of little places here to get drinks and things and your restaurante pizzeria as well, look. That looks quite popular. Right, this is La Rustica. This does quite a cool pizza, actually. I did fall out with them a little bit because we were ordering takeaway pizzas and not only did the price go up quite considerably, but we were ordering XXLs. So we started ordering normal size ones and the normal size ones are really, really nice. The XXL I found was a little bit sloppy, so I'm giving them back some good, uh, good marks again. And then Irish pub O'Connor's as well. That's very busy, loads of people in there. And the Royal China, this used to be a buffet and now it's sort of all you can eat but you order off the menu, 16.95. I'm not sure what it's like, but I think Playa Blanca could do with a proper Chinese buffet, what do you reckon? This is a new one as well, Mexican restaurant, mariachi look, all designed out really nicely. There's a few people in there as well. Right, look, he's dying. See, this slowly is- Slowly dying. Slowly dying. And now we've got to walk the all the way back, here it is. So you've got Papagayo Centre over there, and we're going to head down there. Right then, so we've got a treat for you. We're going to go through the Papagayo Centre and then back down this way. And Swing Nightclub is there. And you've got the, pe uh, the hot dog place, which I've showed you before. And this place is like, uh, well, it's a centre. Centre of different things. So you've got Waikiki's is like the, the disco place. It's dead at the moment because it's too early. We started at Namaste. This is Jimmy's other restaurant. The uh, Spice Fusion look, so you can come to the Spice Fusion if you like. But Namaste was the one for us today. And of course you got La Casa, which is down here. And I've also, uh, as you know, 
done a video in La Casa and I'm not sure if they're actually open now. So they're not actually open at the moment. Must have had a quiet evening, but it is quite quiet. Right then, down here you got Burger King and the Barney's Bar. Barney's Bar is super popular, look. And again, live music. All your live bands and stuff like that. Always busy in there. So this place, I mean, if you like your live music, Bikers, The Harp, Barney's, well, you're laughing. Proper bands on. That's a place to come for your live music. But, um, well, we've got to get back. Somebody's, somebody's shouting me. Hello! <laughs> Don't fall down the stairs. My husband watches you all the time. Your husband, everybody he says. He says, I've just spotted you. All the wives say, my husband watches you all the time. Where, where is he? Is he not coming out? He's, no, he's got his in barn. He's only oh. just got a seat. Where are you from? Uh, Dudley. Dudley. Oh, there you go. Well, lovely to meet you, look. You. Give him one of these if I've got one left. Oh, yeah, I'm and then it, he'll be happy, oh, won't he? Will. He'll be happy. My face on your case. There you go. That's lovely. lovely to meet you. What's his name? Steve. Steve. Steve and Vicky. There you go. Lovely to meet you. See you later. Bye bye. 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 Right, come on, you. <laughs>